This video of uh, subretinal cystic sarcosis was shot in 2004. Now the idea was to capture this characteristic peristaltic movement of a live cyst and share it with fellows so that they can always diagnose it easily whenever they find one. Recently we examined a 44 year female who has been treated for neurocystic sarcosis. She had severe papilledema in both eyes with hemorrhage over disc and a minimal breakthrough vitreous hemorrhage. We could also see a live subretinal cyst in the right eye. So a 25 gauge pars plana vitrectomy was planned to remove this live cyst. Now PVD induction was done cautiously because of the inflammation at optic nerve head. Endodiathermy is done over the cyst at the site of planned retinotomy. Now this is a very important step. The cutter is used to create retinotomy and to enter the subretinal space with cutter in vacuum mode only. Now this is important that you should not create retinotomy with your diathermy because uh, sometimes cyst might come out of uh, the retinotomy. So it's important that you create the retinotomy with cutter directly and once you have engaged the wall of the cyst, you pull out the cyst in toto into the vitreous cavity and remove it by cutter itself. One can also notice the characteristic movement of a live cyst once the wall is grasped. Normally this retinotomy can seal itself by fibrosis but to be on safer side, uh, endolaser was applied to the site of retinotomy. Now you can see uh, the recovery at day 4. She could read 6 by 9 at this follow up. Follow up at 11 days also shows resolving disc edema, a stable retina with best corrected visual acuity of 6 by 6.